We continue now at the top of Daf Samech Hayam and Beis and Maseches Kedushin. This is Kedushin Daf 65b. This Daf is sponsored by Sean Kashani. Thank you for your sponsorship. If you would like to sponsor an Amit or Daf, please see the description box below and see the description box below to see how you can support this channel. On the previous Amit, there was a machlokus between Beis Shammai and Beis Hillel. Let's say you have a situation where a man divorces his wife and then he's together with her in an inn. So is a second get going to be required or not? Beis Shammai say a second get is not required. Beis Hillel say the second get is required. And the Gemara now explains that the case over here is where you have Adam of Ede Yichud. You have Adam that see that they went into seclusion, but you don't have Ede Bia. Nobody actually saw them have an act of relations. And so Beis Shammai say, we don't say... Lo Amrinon, we don't say Hain Hain Ede Yichud, Hain Hain Ede Bia. We don't say that just because we have witnesses of Yichud, therefore it's obvious we have witnesses of Bia as well. We don't say that. There's not necessarily a direct connection between the two. The witnesses over the Yichud cannot be said to be witnesses that there was Bia. Ubeis Hillel Sabri, but Beis Hillel, they hold Amrinon that we do say. Hein hein ede yichud, hein hein ede bia, that the ede yichud are also considered to be ede bia. And Rashi explains, Amrinon hein hein ede yichud misharu'ua, shenesiyachto imo, meaning, when we, when, when, from when they see that there was yichud, that she had yichud with him, ein sarich lahoyed ala bia. We don't even need to hear testimony about the act of relations. Dekevan de libo gaspa, because since he's comfortable with her, mechazkinin oso bechezkas shebo alel l'shem kiddushin. So we have a presumption that he did have relations with her for the sake of kiddushin. And that's what the Gemara continues, umodim vaday, but they both admit certainly benesgarshim in ha'eris, and let's say the gerishin happened, the divorce happened, and there was, they were only betrothed. It it was only a situation of Arison. So there, the low I mean, and there everybody agrees that we do not say Hain Hain Ede Yichud, Hain Hain Ede Bia. We don't say that the Ede Yichud are considered to be Ede Bia, Ain Libo Gaspa, because again, he's not comfortable with her in that situation. And so therefore, it's not necessarily considered Adem that there was an act of Bia. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav Yitzchak Bar Shmuel Bar Morosa Mishmei De Rav. Rav Yitzchak Bar Shmuel Bar Morosa says in the name of Rav, HaMekadosh B'yed Echad, if someone is Mekadosh, a woman with one witness, Ein Choshen L'Kidusha, we have no concern for his Kidushin, it is certainly not a good Kidushin. The Afilu Shnei HaModim, that's even true if both of them admit, meaning even if the man and the woman admit that there was a Kidushin, it's not going to be a Kidushin because there was only one witness. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rabba Bar Rav Huna, Rabba Bar Rav Huna says, HaMakadosh Be'ed Echad, if somebody's Makadish with one witness, Be'edina Rabba Amri, the great court says, Ein Choshen L'Kidushav, we have no concern for his Kidushin, it is not a good Kidushin. And the Gemara says, Man Be'edina Rabba, who is the great court? That refers to Rav, that refers to the, to the Amora Rav. And the Gemara continues, Ve'ika Diyamri, there are those that say, Amar Rabba Bar Rav Huna, Amar Rav, the Rabba Bar Rav Huna said that Rav said, HaMekadosh Be'ed Echad, that if somebody's Makadish with one witness, Be'ed Dino Rabba Amri, the great court says, Ein Choshen Kiddushav, we have no concern for his Kiddushin. So in this case, the difference in this version is that Rabba Bar Rav Huna is saying that Rav said that the great court said, whereas in the first version, it was Rabba Bar Rav Huna who said that the great court said. And so according to this version, Man Be'ed Dino Rabba, so who would Rav refer to as the great court, Rebbe, he was referring to Rebbe when he called it the Beit Dino Rabbah. And the Gemara continues, Mesav Rav Achtavoy Bar Ami, Rav Achtavoy Bar Ami asked the following question. Shnayim Shebomi Medina Sayyam. Let's say there are two people, they come from Medina Sayyam. V'isho Imam, and there's a woman with them. Two men and one woman. V'chavilo Imam, and there's also a bundle with them. Ze Omer, this one says, Zu Ishti Vizu Avdi Vizu Chavilasi. This is my wife, this is my slave, and this is my bundle. Vizomer, and the other one says, Zuishti Vizavdi Vizu Chavilasi. This is my wife, this is my slave, and this is my bundle. Vizisho Meris, and the woman says, Elu Shnei Avdi, these are my two slaves. Vizavila Shali, and the bundle belongs to me. So what's the halach in this case? Tzricha shnei gitin, she's going to need her, she's, she requires two gitin, two divorce documents, meaning we have to be concerned she might be married to either one of these individuals. The gova ksuva in a chavila, and she can collect her ksuba from the bundle, because either the bundle belongs to her anyway, or you have a situation where she's being divorced by one of them and they owe ksuba, so she can take the bundle as the ksuba. And the Gemara asks on this brisa, Hey, Chidami, what exactly is the case in this brisa? If this one has witnesses that, that he was Makadisher, and the other one has witnesses that he was the one that was Makadisher, so me motzi omra elu avdi v'chavila shali, can she then say that these are my two slaves and this is my bundle? She wouldn't be able to say that in the face of two witnesses. El alav be'erachad, rather it must be that each one has just one aid, and so that's why you have a situation where she's able to, to contradict so to speak. 
But the Gemara says, but is it logical to say that each one has one aid? Eid echad ba'achashim yimahem. And if you had one aid that's being contradicted by another aid, would that, would that aid be believed at all? That witness would be nothing anyway. So that doesn't help us. And so the Gemara instead says, you have to say, Elu lemishri li'alma to kuli alma lo pligi deshari. You have to say that in this b'risa, in order for her to be allowed to marry someone else, everybody agrees there's no machlokas. She's certainly permitted to marry someone else. But we cannot say with any certainty that she actually has a kiddushin based on what happened here. And here what we're saying is as follows. It means she requires two gitin if she wants to collect her ksuba from the bundle. In other words, if she's going to want to collect, she's going to want to take the bundle as her ksuba, then she will require the gitin, but she does not require any get in order to marry someone else. And the Gemara continues, Rebbe Meir, and this b'risa follows the opinion of Rebbe Meir, the Amar Metaldali Mishtavli Laksuba. Rebbe Meir says, even movable objects can be Meshuba, there's a lien on them in terms of the payment of the Ksuba, and that's why she's able to collect the Ksuba from the bundle. And the Gemara continues, My Havalo. The Gemara says, well, what is the conclusion in terms of HaMekadish Be'ed Echad, if somebody's Mekadish with one witness? And the Gemara says, Rav Kahana Amr, Rav Kahana says, Ein choshen We have no concern for his Kiddushan. It's not a good Kiddushan. Rav Papa Amr, choshen l'kidushav. And Rav Papa says, We are concerned for his Kiddushan. It is a good Kiddushan. And the Gemara continues, Amr le'er Rav Ashi Rav Kahana. Rav Ashi said to Rav Kahana, who said it's not a good Kiddushan, My daitach, what are you thinking over here? Do you laugh dover dover mi mamun? You're learning out. It says dover over here, and it says dover by mamun. Just like by mamun you require two witnesses, so too over here. But But if when it comes to money, we know there's a principle that if the person admits, it's like a hundred witnesses. So Afghans so over here also, if they're both admitting there was a Kiddushin, we should say Hodoas Baldin is like a hundred witnesses. And we should say that in fact it is a good Kiddushin because it's as if you have a hundred witnesses over here. And the Gemara says to that, Amar he said back to him, Hasam over there, Loka Chayev Lachrini. If a person is admitting that he owes money, he's not causing any obligations to anyone else. He's only causing an obligation upon himself that he owes the money. That's why we say it's considered like a hundred witnesses. But Hacha, but over here, if a person is admitting, so to speak, that there was a Kiddushin, Kachayev Lachrini, that's causing an obligation to someone else, and therefore we would not apply the rule of Hodoas Baldin Kameh Edim Dami by Kiddushin. And Rashi explains, again, the Gemara said that if she wants to collect the Ksuba from the bundle, so then she requires two gitin, Sri Chashnei gitin, she requires two gitin, Kide Ligvos Ksuba Samina Chavila, meaning in order to collect her Ksuba, if she's going to want to collect her Ksuba from the bundle, she'll require two gitin. Kilomer, what it means is as follows, Liolam HaChavila Munachas at Sheyavu Eliyahu. Really, the bundle has to stay where it is until Eliyahu comes and says who it belongs to. Ella im Cain, unless Nasnu Lashneim get me'atzman, if they both gave a get from their own volition. Vahaget mevio lidei giboy ksuba minachavila. So then if she has the get, she'll be able to collect the ksuba from the bundle mimonavshach. She can collect mimonavshach. Im shel zeu hari mechayev lakksuba al piv. V'chein zeh. Let's say it's this person, so he has to give a ksuba because he divorced her. If it's the other ones, the same thing. V'kal shekein im kula shalon. Certainly if it all belongs to her, then she'll get the bundle. And Rashi continues, Rabbi Meir he v'chulu kolomar. It's Rabbi Meir again that holds that the metaltalin is also meshubit for aksuba. Kolomar again it means to say v'chulu lo ashmin and elo the metaltalin mishtavli laksuba. The whole point over here is to tell you that metaltalin are mishtavli laksuba. Rabbi Meir he and it is according to the opinion of Rabbi Meir as we find in Meseches Ksubis. And Rashi continues, Hodoas Baldin Kameya Edim, Hodoas Baldin is considered like a hundred witnesses, the Chsiva Shar Yomar Kihuze, Haresha Samach al Miksas Hodaso, the Pasuk says he says that this is it. We're relying on his partial admission. Loka Chayev Lo Achrini. But then the Gemara said that over there you're not obligating anyone else. He's the only one losing. He doesn't obligate anyone else, and so therefore it's like a hundred witnesses. But Hachabot over here by Kedushin Kachayvo Lachrini, she's obligating others. Shakrovo Sehon Nesrubo, because her relatives would be usher to him. Ukrovo Nesar and Bo, and his relatives would be usher to her. And the Gemara continues, Marzutra of Ravada Saba, Marzutra and Ravada Saba, B'neidr of Mori Bar Isser. They were the sons of Rav Mori Bar Isser. Polig Nechsayu Bahadi Hadari. They were dividing their property among themselves. Also, Lakami de Ravashi, they came before Ravashi. Amrule, they said to him, Al Pishne Edim Amar Achmana. The Pasuk says it has to be done with two witnesses. What does the Pasuk mean by that? The Iboy Lamahadr Lomotzi Hadri, who is the idea that the witnesses will see what happened, and therefore, if you want to retract, you won't be able to retract. In other words, the witnesses are simply there to verify what actually happened so that no one will be able to deny it later on. Vanon Lo Hadri, and we're not going to retract. 
other words, we trust each other, and therefore maybe we don't need, therefore maybe we don't need witnesses to divide the property. Odilma or maybe Lomakaima Mil Salabisahadi, maybe the division is not good unless you have witnesses. In other words, maybe you actually need witnesses for the division to be effective in the first place. That was the question that they asked Ravashi. Amar Lu, so he said to them, Lo Ivru Sahadi El Shakri. The witnesses are only created, witnesses are only created for liars, meaning the whole purpose of the witnesses is in case people later on are going to lie and try to change what happened, so the witnesses will be there to verify what actually happened, and therefore you don't actually need witnesses for the division of the property to be effective. Again, they're just need they're just needed to clarify the matter later on. And the Gemara continues, Amar Abaya Abaya says, Amar lo echor if one witness says to him, you ate chaylev, the halo shosik, and the person is silent, and namon, so the eight echor is believed, and he brings a carbon. Vitana Tuna, and the Mishnah supports this as well, Amar lo echor again, if one witness said to him, you ate chaylev, halo mer lo he said, I didn't eat it, potter, so he's potter from a carbon. And the Gemara says, time with Amar lo, the reason why he's potter from a carbon is because he said no, because he denied it. But if he would have been silent, so the Eid Echad is believed, and he brings a carbon. And the Gemara continues, says, If one witness says to him, your, your, food, your food that is tar, it became Tameh, and he's silent again, Namun, he's believed. The Eid Echad is believed in that case. And the Mishnah supports this as well, One witness says it was Tameh, Valomer lo nitmu, and the other one says it wasn't tame. So then Potter, then in a case where he denied it, he's Potter. And time with Amar lo, the reason why he's Potter is because again he denied it because he said no. Ha ishtik mehemin, but if he would have been silent, so the Eid would be believed. And the Gemara continues, we Amar Abay and Abay says Amar lo Eid If one eight says to him, and Rashi over here says Achal to Chayla b'Shogeg, you ate Chayla b'Shogeg, v'Chayev at a carbon, and your Chayev a carbon. So again, Nemon ha Eid, the witness is believed, v'Kasher ha carbon, and the carbon is considered. Kashri brings the carbon. The ain kan mishum ohoda elov chatoso veloshio du acherim. Here it's not a problem because it says in the pasuk he has to know about his sin and not that others tell him. But that's not a problem over here if he's silent. Vachi darshin la veshmata veshmaita kamaisa di yisharaba. This is what we darshin in the first sugi of yisharaba veloshio du acherim v'hu machish. If others let him know and he denies it, that's when there's no carbon. But otherwise, as long as he does not deny it, he does bring a carbon. And we'll take a look at Tosis over here. Tosa say, Amar lo echor achal techeilev alo shosek namon. If one witness says to me, you ate and he's silent, so then he's believed. Perish de shtika kahoda dami. The idea over here is, is that the silence is like an admission. V'havin no de lo meyatsmo. It's as if on his own, it, ca- it became known to him. Avol amar lo eni yodeya. But let's say he says, I don't know. I don't know what you're saying is true. So eno namon l'chaivo carbon. So then that one eight is not going to be believed to make him bring a carbon. Dechsiv ohoda elo. Because it says it has to be known to him. Him, not that others make it known to him. And Tosas point out, this is all true only if it's one witness. But let's say two witnesses say he ate chaylev, so then Namonim, then they would be believed even if he denies it. Umevi Karvat Al Yadam, he would bring a carbon through them. Kidamar Hasam, like it says over there, Imhevi Yu Shnaimli De Misa Khamur, if two witnesses cause him, can cause someone to get Misa, which is strict. Lo Yiviuli De Karban Akal, certainly all the more so they should bring him to have to bring a carbon, which is more lenient. But Sarah Nami Lafarish, furthermore, you have to explain Vahalo Shosik when it says that the person was silent, the Yamar Lo Haid Achalta. In other words, the witness said to him, you ate the chaylev, v'hayolach leidan, you should have known that, v'hu shosek, and he is silent. And we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Samech Vav Ahmed Aleph.